Hi there coffee lovers, uh, following on from the mocha pot cleaning video which is sitting here uh, all nicely cleaned and uh, flushed through and seasoned with four baskets of grounds which have been um, boiled through and discarded, the pot's now ready to go. Um, there are numerous, numerous videos and instructional websites and the like on how to make coffee with a mocha pot. Now, there's some confusion because they vary immensely. So what I want to do is a little experiment. It's like Mythbusters, it's exciting stuff. Uh, what I want to do is a little experiment um, where I am going to make four pots of coffee. Um, the first one, I'm going to use cold water in the chamber and, and boil it right the way through until it's completely depleted and it's hissing out steam at the end, as a lot of videos show. The second one I'm going to do the same thing with cold water, but I'm going to stop it short before it actually gets to the point where it starts steaming through. The third one I'm going to do the same as the first, but with hot water, pre-boiled water in the chamber, but let that complete a, a, full, um, a full boil. And then the fourth one is going to be hot water in the water chamber and I'm going to stop it short and then I'll be doing a flavour test to check to see if there's a noticeable flavour difference. I'll be using a fresh bag of coffee beans unopened as yet. Um, each, each pot full will use 25 grams of beans which I'll weigh out. Uh, essentially what I'm trying to do is cut down as many of the variables as possible. I'll be boiling the pot on this, this uh, little camping stove um, which I'm able to turn down to a very low heat um, and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Now the flame that I'm going to be using for the experiment will be a medium to low flame as you see here so it's going to be uh, the aim here is consistency between all elements there's going to be 180 ml of water which is up to the base of the valve in here that will remain the same throughout all of the experiments then we have a basket with 18 grams of coffee. I actually um, miscalculated on, uh, on the previous part where I said 25 grams. Um, and for some reason I thought it, it held more than it does. But that's 18 grams of coffee levelled and pat tapped down. As you can hear there. So that it settles but it's not, it's not tamped at all. So here we have cup number one, uh, it makes a very very strong coffee as you can see, um, as you can see there, so it smells quite nice and it actually tastes quite nice hot. I'm, I'm going to taste all these uh, hot and then I'm going to do a cold taste test as well because something I've learnt about coffee as I've gotten into roasting and uh, messing about with it a bit more is um, a good coffee, a good roast and a good extraction will still taste very drinkable cold uh, whereas um, while it's hot um, an extraction that's not at its best that's a little bit sour or a bit bitter, um, just a little bit can be masked by the heat. So I'll be testing all of them hot and cold. And this is obviously neat. This is essentially the equivalent of three, uh, almost three double espressos. It's um, what you would do with this. Uh, that's a three cup 
uh, mocha pot so what you would actually do with it is um, is dilute that for Americano style coffees um, into three cups but as I won't be drinking the whole lot because I would be kind of bouncing off the ceiling uh, I'll just be tasting that tasting each one hot tasting each one cold and then we'll kind of uh, we'll come back and do a verdict on that but now we're just going to move on to the next one that's the cold full boil the next one we're going to do a cold with a short stop so we've got the second cup of coffee here uh, still a good strong brew as you can as you can see if I put it in focus and just give that a swirl for you but kind of hard to tell from this angle but this one which is the first one versus this one which is the second this one looks a lot cleaner this one's sort of more soupy like you'd expect Greek or Turkish coffee to look this one looks a lot cleaner and this was stopped short but boiled with cold water strong um, possibly a little bit bitter but I'm not really sure just at the moment certainly less bitter than the first one um, so that's the first two cups next cup is going to be with hot water on a full boil while this one's extracting this is the third cup um, again it's quite a thick a thick brew uh, it's definitely got the brownish tint that the first one has so obviously boiling it right through to completion um, must push some extra stuff through there and taste wise it's very much like the first one uh, quite sh um, definitely bitter now with this one uh, this has had hot water in the in the base this is going to be extracted and placed directly onto um, once it reaches the straw point before it starts bubbling over it's going to be placed directly onto a cold wet towel and I'm going to stop the extraction at this point right here and it, uh, see the towel just down there what I'm going to do is sit that straight on that towel and that will cool it down and prevent it extracting any further so we're on to the final cup of the four which is the the hot water in the base and the short stop um, the colour of this one is very much like the colour of the second one um, nice aroma again a nice thick strong brew as you can see there definitely a nicer flavour um, that one uh, the, the one that was uh, had a, a full extraction this one here was more bitter this one's definitely um, a less bitter flavour this one which was the same as the fourth one but with cold water to a short stop is a little bit more bitter and this one much more bitter and um, that's that's almost cold now and um, what I'm going to do so another quick taste of that one yeah that one's actually quite pleasant that I could I could happily drink as it is the only noticeable difference is you get a slightly shorter extraction and um, as you can maybe see I don't know I don't know how that's probably not very visible on here on camera to be honest but you get a slightly shorter extraction maybe about 10 mil less and the same same with these two and the same with these two so where you stop the extraction short you get about 10 mil less at this point each of the cups has cooled down sufficiently so we can have a look and another taste so this was the first one that came out this was the uh, cold water with a full boil um, definitely uh, bitter over extraction there 
Um, hmm. Good strong flavour, but definitely bitter. This was the cold with the, the short stop. Much, much better. That was stopping the extraction short uh, using the cold uh, towel method. Uh, but still a hint of bitterness on that one. So this one was the hot one. Uh, we'll put the hot water into the water chamber first on a full boil. Um, hmm. And strangely enough, and much to my surprise, that's really not bad. A uh, very, very slight hint of um, bitter aftertaste, but only very, very slight, barely noticeable in comparison to either of these, which started with the cold water. And then that leaves us with the hot, um, hot water in the tank first and the short stop. And based on this one, I'm assuming this one is going to be quite good. Mmm, yeah, very good. So to conclude this video about brewing coffee with the mocha pot, I think we can definitely say that the brewing methods uh, do make a considerable difference. Uh, I found the pre-boiled water and the short stop gave a much more full-bodied flavoursome coffee with no bitterness at all and um, uh, just a much a much more well-rounded cup overall. That's the method that I'll certainly use in future and that's the one that I would recommend. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching. Happy drinking.